Tonight, more on a suspected murder-suicide in Rio Rancho. Including new details on the seven-year-old girl and her father, who police say killed her, then himself. Action 7 News reporter Aaron Hill joins us live from Rio Rancho. Yeah, Doug, this is the home here behind me where police say 56-year-old Leonard Gabaldon and his 7-year-old daughter, Victoria, were found dead. A small memorial has been set up outside here. Now, police say they are still waiting for an official ruling on the death, but right now they say the evidence points to a murder-suicide. Stuffed animals and flowers now sit outside a home in Rio Rancho, the scene of what investigators believe is a tragic murder-suicide. Police identified 56-year-old Leonard Gabaldon and his 7-year-old daughter, Victoria, as the two people found dead inside the home Wednesday evening. Initial autopsy results show both were shot to death. The whole thing is stunning to their neighbors. Very soft-spoken person. He loved his daughter. I mean, a lot. When I, when I learned about it, I thought, wow. We spoke to several close family friends today. They didn't want to go on camera, but tell us the father was in the middle of a custody battle with his ex-wife. Court records show the two were divorced in 2005, and Rio Rancho police show several records of domestic situations involving the two. In April of last year, Gabaldon contacted police saying he was receiving threatening text messages and phone calls from his ex-wife. He also called police in two other reports in 2004 and 2005. In one of those cases, he told officers his ex-wife had kicked holes in two doors in the hallway area leading to the room Mr. Gabaldon was in. No arrests were made in any of these cases, and police say they haven't had any similar reports since 2007. Now, everyone I spoke to today about this family says Victoria was a beautiful little girl and that she meant the world to her father. They have no idea what could have happened to lead to something like this. We're live in Rio Rancho. Aaron Hilf, KOAT Action 7 News.